talk about Trisha Paytas and obviously Jason Nash basically said, you know, look, I'm 30, Jason's 45, and this girl is 20. She also went after um, Jason's ex-wife. channel I wanted to film a quick little mukbang today I was going to join Ryan in Ireland but unfortunately he had class during this time and I have um, I have some work to do this afternoon so I wanted to do this before I got into my work and got distracted I want to talk about Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash and what has happened over the weekend because this is incredible drama and I love it um, before we get going, I'm just having a quick little sandwich today. I have um, some Sonoma uh, chicken salad, and I bought that at Whole Foods, and just some Cape Cod chips um, and a, on a French baguette. Um, so I know you're all probably familiar with what happened this weekend. Trisha apparently got very upset one of David Dobrik's um, vlogs that was posted on Saturday morning or late late Friday night and she went berserk basically because they had made a joke about a free SOME and um, that's not okay with her and she apparently had asked them several times not to and to give you a little bit of background Jason Nash had about a year ago, before he was dating Trisha, had gone out on a date where he actually filmed it with Tana from the infamous TanaCon. And he actually wanted went in for a kiss, which she rejected him um, of the kiss. So what's really weird about that is Jason is actually 45 years old. And so he is much older and Tana was 19 at the time and this upsets Trisha so much and Trisha basically said, you know, look, I'm 30, Jason's 45 and this girl is 20, you know? And so I totally don't blame her. I would be very upset as well. I talked about this with my husband last night and he was kind of saying, well, Trisha's kind of a little bit crazy and I said, but if I asked you, I'm a little crazy too. I said, if if I asked you not to make a joke, you would stop. And he kind of agreed, you know, begrudgingly. Um, so uh, what happened was she put this video up and literally it was up for maybe 45 minutes. And then she pulled it down. And David, maybe it was an hour. David pulled his video down as well and one other video. And I never see David pull down videos. So I think she was really, really upset. Trisha went on to, in her video, to expose Brandon Cavillo as dating an underage girl, of which she then proceeded to tweet out that, you know, she was 18 at the time. And then of course, people went back through the records and said, you know, there was, it was on film that she wasn't 18 at the time. So that, she totally outed him and he tried to cover up, but that failed, it was crazy. So to make a long story short, she also went after um, Jason's ex-wife. And I totally don't agree with this. I think that Families are completely off limit, especially if, you know, you're dating someone. I mean, but I know she was upset and she thought the relationship was completely over and she was going for the jugular in typical Trisha way. And I understand it doesn't make it right. Okay, fast forward. Last night, I'm sitting, finally sat down last night and I was watching something and up pops a Jason Nash video. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. So we get on the video and I watched it twice actually. I actually watched it almost three times because my husband wanted to watch it. I actually wanted him to watch it because he follows all this drama with me. And so it was insane. Like he gets on 
and he puts this 35 minute video out where he gets on and he's like, I'm so sorry and we didn't mean to and he totally defends David 150% and he's like, it was a miscommunication between you and me and he's not in our relationship and you know, all this garbage, just garbage. He's like, I'm so sorry. And then he turns the whole fight on Trisha. He manipulates it so that he says, you're crazy and you shouldn't post things. Now, I absolutely agree she shouldn't post things, but he's like, I'm sorry, but he doesn't accept responsibility for what he actually did to Trisha. And I was just, by the end of it, completely annoyed. My husband thought I was overreacting, of course, but mm-mm. He... No, I wouldn't put up with this garbage. I think Trisha's a really sweet girl. Yes, she can be totally crazy, but this guy is totally, I don't know. I don't know. So, then I sit down and I went to tweet and I go to look at the video. It's gone, completely gone. It was like an hour later. And Trisha, in the meantime, had posted her, another response to the video on her channel. And um, I was like, oh my God, wait, am I, I said to my husband, could this be true? Let's see if this will focus on this because you can see all the grapes and the chicken and mm, it's delicious. And I just dropped some. Um, so, his, his video's down already, his video's down already. And so I post. Is Jason Nash, uh, I tweet, is Jason Nash's video already down? He's like, yep. So, apparently I wasn't the only one that called foul and garbage. And, uh, I would think he's a creep. And I'm from Massachusetts, and I would love to love you, Jason, but you need to step up and treat Trisha right. Because you don't treat her. You treat her like she's convenient for you. And that's not okay. That's not a relationship, which totally makes me suspect that you're using her for views, but that's just my own opinion. Please don't contact anyone. This is just my opinion. Don't send any hate notes. Please just, this is my opinion only. We're just having lunch here. Okay, so anyway, I started to sit down and think about the timing of all this because yesterday was actually um, Trisha and Jason's one year anniversary from, I guess, when they went to Hawaii. Um, I was thinking, isn't it coincidental that it's literally a year to the day when all this started? And I had started noticing in January that, um, that they weren't really posting together. I kept saying, I actually made another mukbang, which I didn't post, but, um, they weren't really posting together. And I was like, hmm, something weird is going on because they were posting every single day. And then I was like, okay, well that's because it was, you know, Christmas time and it was Vlogmas and yada, yada. So, um, yeah. So I totally, totally started thinking about it because uh, I had mentioned it to my husband. He's like, hmm, there's something odd about this. So my conspiracy, conspiracy theory my conspiracy theory <laughs> is that other few years, one, you know, did they have some sort of a contract with David or she had a contract with David or some sort of agreement where they would do it for a year and see how it worked out. And then, you know, it's a year now and suddenly there's this huge blow up drama Hmm. The timing just seems weird to me. And then I was like, you know, and then they didn't like it or she didn't like it. And so she had an out until so then they put together this whole drama. And I'm like, no, because she went after Jason's wife. So I, I can't imagine that he would let that happen. But the timing of this is all suspect. I feel bad because Trisha has a video, you know, spent all this money on a video, she said. And, um, 
I'm just looking at the tweets. And spent all this money on this love video for Valentine's Day and now she doesn't think she's gonna release it. Honey, just eat it and move on with your life. I don't know if they're back together. I can't imagine they are. I can't imagine she'd wanna go back to him. I know she's really insecure, but I just, you know, if she ever watched my video, I would just say, honey, you are 30 years old. You have so many years ahead of you. You're not an old girl, you're beautiful. You have a great personality. You will meet someone that will take care of you. And I don't mean take care of you financially. I mean, take care of your soul. They are out there, I promise you. Um, so, I don't know. I'm waiting to see, you know, what the ramifications of this whole thing are because Dave Dobrik's kind of the good boy of YouTube, but it kind of seems almost like a Team 10 setup without all the negativity. And I think this was the first time I have seen the Vlog Squad in sort of a different light. Like they're not all that perfect, good, clean kids all the time. I mean, I gotta be honest, they're just like my kids. Um, you know, we want you to get in a little trouble, but just fine line, have fun, get in all the trouble, it's okay, but don't get arrested or do anything that can harm anyone. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Trisha's video, you know, she kind of said, I, I don't know what's going on and, and she gave her side of the story, which by the way, I kind of watched her crumble on Saturday and I felt so bad. I like to have to like be really upset and have, you know, Jason blow you off. Now, I don't care how tired you are. Clearly something's really bothering you if you're up at 7 a.m. and mm, I'm texting, etc. Mm, this is so good. Um, and Jason kind of rolled over and was like, I'm tired, which I'm sorry. If you're a good, you know, boyfriend or, um, if you love someone, if they're real upset, you get up with them, you know? Like I have been tired plenty of times and if something happens to my kids even, I'll get up and make sure they're okay or my husband or, for Christ's sake, I get up for the animals if they wanna get up on the bed and they can't jump. Right, Kodak? My dog doesn't like to jump up on the bed because I have a bench at the bottom of the bed and it sort of moves a little bit when he jumps up. He literally hops down and cries for me to get up over my husband and put him on the bed. There he is. He's down there sitting right below my feet like he always does. So, um, I shall move on. Um, David still hasn't responded to anything. If I was his management company or his manager, I'd just say, you know what? Don't, don't even make a video to respond. Apparently they spoke and he apologized um, to her for putting that up. And you know, it is their business, I get it. But I don't know what everyone's gonna say. And she makes jokes too. And um, she does, but like, like you said, she said to Jason, um, when I found out you didn't like the joke, I stopped saying it. And then they did it Tuesday and then Saturday because they need vlogs. Um, so, I don't know. I get it. I know they have to put out content. And I know they want to stay on top. But I just think there's a fine line when it at someone else's cost, you know? I think I think you gotta be nice to people. I really do. So um I hope you know, her main one of her main gripes was like they have a group vlog squad chat and You know, if someone's upset or something, they kind of take care of each other. But when she was upset, no one responded to her. And I get that. And you know what? I understand why she's upset. Because she wants to either be part of the group or not be part of the group. So it sounds like she's not going to do any more 
um, vlog squad stuff this year. And again, I thought that was kind of happening anyway because she hadn't been in the videos since December or so. So that's why my mind is a little bit like, hmm. Is this a little manufactured? In the comments below, tell me if she's been in any vlogs, any vlog squad stuff in January. By the way, if she was in vlog squad stuff that was kind of filmed before and, and Christmas and stuff, that doesn't count. I mean, like literally filming with the vlog squad. I know she was busy doing our videos and stuff, but the timing of this is all really suspect to me. So. Um, the most important thing she did was apologize to Jason's wife and his family. That's the one thing I think she did was wrong. Um, she did not mention Brandon Cavillo at all. Not one word. Which, I was wondering if he had threatened her with a lawsuit or something to that effect or something was going on that you know, that um, behind the scenes because she didn't say she was sorry. She didn't mention his name. So that is really interesting to me. So, finally, my last thing, Jeffree Star announced a Morphe collection of brushes and they launched yesterday completely sold out yesterday probably like within 10 hours eight hours i did buy two sets it was the maximum you could buy i was then like gonna log on and i'm gonna log on in uh on my husband and buy two more but i thought two would be enough so there's controversy about whether Tati reviewed her friend's product properly, but you know what, they are friends and either you like them or you don't. And it's their opinion and you know, Tati doesn't really give, you know, unfair. She's very stable kind of, you know, she kind of um, gives a, a very logical opinion in a nice way. I kind of like her a lot, so. I don't know. Um, it's really hard when you live your life for, you know, like Trisha lives her life on the internet. And now Jason does too. My main worry is like about his kids, like when they see this stuff. Cause you are getting old enough to see all this stuff. His daughter's on TikTok. I see her all the time. I mean, they're very savvy. She's adorable. So is Wyatt. And he keeps saying, oh no, they don't watch it because we told them they can't watch it. And my kids follow all the rules. Well, Jason, I got news for you. They don't follow all the rules. You just don't know about it. Which is fine. But when you have such a public job and live your life like this, it's hard to shelter them. Um, you know, Trisha does have a past that is not, you know, perfect by any means. But the great part of Trisha is that she overcame all her challenges and she's doing fantastic. And I wish she could just go meet with a counselor that could help her build her self-esteem because she is unbelievably successful. I mean, there, she's beautiful. She's su successful. And I think that, um, I think that she's a really good person. And I think she deserves someone who's not like concerned with everyone else, especially like their boss. I don't think he should mix. I, I don't think they should mix their vlogs anymore. And I really think that they were, uh, you know, I think it became a realization by the end of last year that if they did break up, you know, what would the consequences to their businesses be? 
So um, I think this would be the, the best thing is to just keep them separate. Um, Jason, I don't know what he's gonna do. He is kind of a goof. I don't know. Why did he pull his video down? Either you're sorry or you're not sorry, but people said he was getting too many negative comments, but so what? Be a big boy. Be a big boy. Hmm? Like, you can't take the heat, don't go in the kitchen. Something like that. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Which I guess is what he did. He like took his ball and went home. What did he expect though, putting that out? Like, did he expect um, everyone to go, oh yay Jason, you're so awesome. And take his side because he was like, I'm sorry, but it's really your fault. And then you did stuff that was worse, but so I'm sorry for, for doing that, but and driving you crazy and pushing you so far, but it's really your fault. I don't know. It was kind of a weird argument. It, it wasn't a sincere apology. But when, I had to watch it twice because the first time I, I watched it, I was like, wait, he went all the way around and ended up at the end of the video, Trisha said, I'm sorry. I was like, what the fuck are you sorry for? He did this to you, you know? You were like minding your own business. I don't know, bizarro. And I, I hate this excuse, it was for a bit. It was for a bit, it was for a bit. Guess what, sweetie? You can't treat people like dirt for a bit. It doesn't matter. It's, you treat people respectfully, you treat people like you would like to be treated. And also be mindful of your girlfriend's feelings. You know, like, especially when she had just had a meltdown on Tuesday about it. At the end of the video, she said she was sorry, which I was like, why are you saying you're sorry? This isn't your apology video, it's Jason's. But he brought it all around. We will be back with a mukbang. We're probably gonna film it tomorrow or maybe tonight, but I hope you have all have a wonderful day. Remember to be nice to one another. Smiles are free and the tea is always hot. Have a great day.